Hey guys, in today's video we're gonna talk about the default function parameters which is another new feature of ES6. So default parameters are parameters with pre-assigned values just in case to avoid undefined when there isn't any argument passed to a function. And to understand it better let's show it in an example. So here we create a function that just takes a parameter and logs it to the console. Now when I call this function I need to pass a value here and then we are able to see it on the console. However, if I delete this argument and leave it empty, then we get back an undefined value because there is no argument passed inside. So in JavaScript, when a function parameter does not have a value, by default they are set to undefined. But we can change this by using the default parameters. To use a default parameter, for example, I need to assign here a value, let's say 5. So when there is no value passed as an argument here, let's save it, then we will always get back 5 as default instead of undefined. So this is basically what a default parameter is. However, what happens when I pass here, let's say 10? Then in the console, we will see that 10 gets returned because now our function has an argument passed and it doesn't need to use the default value anymore. So the default values will be active when there is no argument passed to the function. Additionally, we can also use default values with the destructuring assignment. So let's go back to our example from the last video. So what if we call here inside the function a property that doesn't exist inside the person object? Let's say nationality. And let's also log it to the console. So when we call a property that doesn't exist inside the object, then it will return undefined. But we can change this by assigning a default value again. Let's say no information. Then we will see no information value is getting logged to the console instead of the undefined keyword. And like we did before, if I add it as a new property here. And let's say English. Then we're going to see English instead of the default value. So I hope you guys find this video helpful for understanding the usage of the default parameters. And if you do, please hit the like button. In the next video, we're going to continue with the spread and rest operators.